Okay. Hello? Can you hear me? Good morning, everyone. I want to thank all of you for being here. I want to thank Beate for being the contact person and hosting us. Uh, thank you so much, Anna. Where are you? Anna, thank you so much for the presentation. My name is Jorge. I work at the Capacity Building Marketplace of UNCCD. And today I'm going to tell you a little bit about what is the UNCCD and what do we do, what are the sustainable development goals, and how they are linked. Okay. So I bet that most of you, when they told you that the UNCCD was coming here to make a set of presentations, you were having the question, what is the UNCCD? So UNCCD stands for United Nations Convention to Combat Desertification, and what it is, is an international legally binding agreement. What does it mean? It means that governments of the world agreed that desertification and land degradation is a global issue it's a global problem that has consequences everywhere in the world, not only in Sahara, Sahel, Central Asia, or Latin America. It has global consequences, and it has a global solution. We are all part of the solution. That is UNCCD. It was established the 17th of June of 1994. Since then, the 17th of June is the World Day to Combat Desertification. We celebrate it every year. And if we make numbers from 1994 until 2019, we are today, uh, this is 25 years. So this is a very special year for us. And we are turning 25. Then now that we know what we are, we should know what we do. And what we do is to link environment and all the environmental problems we have that you know that they are quite a lot. We try to link them or we try to find the solution through sustainable land management. I will explain you a bit more what it is. Beate already gave you a, a small insight about that. I will give you some more details about that. The convention at the beginning was a focus on addressing the problems that were found on the dry lands. Those are the arid, semi-arid and subhumid areas. That was originally because there is where you can find the most delicate people and, and ecosystems. They are more fragile and they are more more affected by the certification, but then we shift the, the approach and because I repeat, this is a global problem and especially has a global solution. So now we don't focus only there, we focus everywhere in the world and we try to, that everybody contributes for this. So now that uh, you know what is the UNCCD, I will let you, uh, give you some insights about the sustainable land management. I will try to keep it very easy. Sustainable land management are the practices and the technologies that aim at managing in a sustainable way land, water, and biodiversity. With these three elements, we can create ecosystems that last for long, that the human being can use, make use of them, and we can eat from them, and still they will be sustainable. You will have other species, other animals, other plants, and, and they, will be, they will be a sustainable ecosystem. So we try to use practices and technologies to preserve those ecosystems, to restore the degraded ones. And, and yeah, this is basically sustainable land management. Now that you know a bit more about the UNCCD, I will shift to the sustainable development goals. I, I hope that all of you at least heard once about them. Uh, if you don't know, it's D17, you, got them. you can see them there. They go from uh, no poverty or zero hunger to partnership for the goals. They are quite diverse. And they were adopted by all United Nations members in 2015, by all of them, including Germany, including all of them. They were uh, signed in, the, in 2015, and they aim at achieving these goals by 2030. If you make numbers, we have 11 years. You may see it like a, like a lot of time, but trust me, it's not. We, are, we have a challenge here. However, even though the government signed it, this is not something for the governments, it's a plan of action for people, okay? This is your plan, this is my plan, this is Anna's, this is Ines' plan, this is our plan, okay? We all have to work together to achieve this in 11 years. I think the challenge is big enough. As I repeat, they are quite diverse and they try to cover all the areas. So they try to stimulate people, they try to stimulate the planet and the environment, they try to stimulate economic prosperity and no poverty. They try to stimulate the peace and the justice in the world, and also the partnership and the collaboration between countries, between people, between communities. The most important thing you should know about the SDGs is that they are all interlinked. 
whenever you try to do something to improve one of the SDGs, you are probably doing something to contribute to achieve another SDG. For example, you can see it here, if you work for the SDG number two, zero hunger, very likely you are doing something to achieve no poverty because those two are quite linked. Of course, if you want to achieve zero hunger, you are probably also helping for a better health. Of course, if you want to achieve zero hunger, you will need a sustainable land that can provide us food. So all the SDGs are interlinked. I just gave you one example, but you can, you can, we can talk more about that uh, a bit later. You will see that everything's interlinked. The 17, the 16, they affect all of them. So I will explain you a little bit about one specific uh, sustainable development goal, that is a 15, is the one that we focus on. It's life on land, and I just told you the importance of land. If we want to eat, we need to plant the food in the land. If we want to go somewhere, we move on land. If we want to live somewhere, we build our houses on the land. Land is very important, it's a support for all our activities, and the goal this goal, what it aims is at, to, at protecting and restoring the land and all the ecosystems living there, as we say, similar to sustainable land management. It also aims at managing the forest, combat desertification, and stop land degradation and stop the biodiversity loss. So, as you can see, sustainable land management and the UNCCD have a lot to do with this goal. So now I'm going to tell you the strategy that the UNCCD has to achieve goal number 15, you can see here that this is the UNCCD 2018-2030 strategic framework. Why until 2030? Because the SDGs aim to be achieved at 2030. So we have a, a strategy that runs in parallel with the SDGs. We have five objectives. The first one is to improve the conditions of the ecosystems, uh, the, the affected ecosystems and if we can, reverse those degraded ecosystems and that land. That is uh, already a lot of work, but we don't stop there. We also want to improve, of course, the conditions of the people living in those ecosystems, as, as is natural. We also want to mitigate and adapt to the effects of drought. Drought is a quite complex uh, natural hazard, and we have a set of scientists uh, working on how to adapt and how to mitigate the effects, because it's something we cannot really prevent. But, but we try to, to make strong people and strong communities so whenever they have a drought they can react uh, in a positive way. The fourth one is to generate a global environment benefits because as I said all the SDGs are interlinked and whatever you do to improve life on land will probably help to improve zero hunger, will probably improve to achieve uh, gender equality, will uh, help to reduce inequalities all over the world. So this is our fourth objective and last but not least we need to mobilize resources in order to uh, be able to achieve these goals. I mean, uh, we need to all work together with resources. I mean, not only economic or financial, but also human resources. We need to recruit somehow all of you, so all of us work together to achieve this goal. This is the fifth objective. Now I will, I'm about to finish. Uh, you know what is the UNCCD, you know what it does, you know what are the SDGs, you know what is the SDG number 15, and you know what the UNCCD is going to do to achieve number 15. Now my question is, what are you going to do? This is your turn, I repeat, this is not something we can do alone, we need all of you, and I will give you just four tips, you can do whatever you want, but take them home. You can be, have responsibility, you can have a responsible consumption, buy local, buy organic, buy bio, eat less meat, don't buy plastic. I think you will know what we are talking about. Repeat, the same as Anna, education. It is very important to know what is going on, to know what were the mistakes we made, to know what made us reach this point and what can we do to reverse it. More thing, dedication. We need to be committed. We need to want to do it. It is very important. And probably the most important one of all of them is to share it. I repeat, we cannot do it alone. We need everybody to know it. We need everybody to work together in the same direction. And we need to uh, convince people that this is important, that land is important, that it's being degraded, that it has a solution, that there are strategies to achieve them. 
So we just need to work together. Communicating, sharing our knowledge is what we are doing here today. I hope you enjoyed the presentation and you know a bit more about the SDGs and the UNCCD. Thank you very much.